good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video for grade 8 mathematics, we will talk about the inequalities in triangles. So, meron tayong given theorems on triangle inequalities. First are the theorems in, in inequalities in one triangle. So, we have the given triangle ABC. So, first is triangle inequality theorem 1 or SS2AA. It means if one side of a triangle is longer than the second side, then the angle opposite the first side is larger than the angle opposite the second side. So, for example, um, gamitin natin yung isang side na, is, na ito, which is AC, at yung side na BC or CB. So, kung mahaba ang side na AC kesa sa side BC, ibig sabihin ang angle na katapat ng side na ito, which is angle B, is mal malaki ang measure kesa sa angle na opposite ng BC, which is A. So, therefore, Side AC is greater than side BC. And then, ang angle na opposite ng AC is B or katapat na angle niya is B. So, therefore, angle B is greater than angle A na kung saan yung angle A ay opposite naman ng segment BC. Next is the Triangle Inequality Theorem 2 or AA2SS. So, if one angle of a triangle is larger than a second angle, then the side opposite the first angle is longer than the side opposite the second angle. So, dito naman, una tayo mag, magbabase or magpo-focus sa angles. So, kung ang isang angle daw ay mas malaki ang measure kesa sa pangalawang angle, ibig sabihin, ang side na katapat ng angle na ito ay mas malaki kesa sa side nakatapat ng pangalawang angle. So, therefore, if angle B is greater than angle A, meaning ang opposite ng angle B or opposite side ng angle B ay mas malaki sa opposite side ng A. So, therefore, segment AC or ang opposite ng B is yung AC. So, ang AC ay mas mahaba ang measure kesa sa opposite ng A which is BC. Next is the Triangle Inequality Theorem 3, or S sub 1 plus S sub 2 is greater than S sub 3. The sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. So, kapag pinagsama natin ang measure ng side AB at side BC, ang sukat nilang dalawa is, o ang total nila is mas malaki or greater than the measure of side AC. Next is exterior angle inequality theorem. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either remote interior angle. So kapag sinabing exterior angle, iyon yung angle na nasa labas ng given polygon or ng given triangle. So, for example, mag-extend tayo ng line dito and then ang line na ito ay pangalanan natin as B. So, meron na tayong angle or exterior angle na angle A, B, D na kung saan ang B iyon yung um, vertex ng exterior angle. Okay, so sabi dyan, ang measure daw ng exterior angle ay mas malaki kesa sa remote interior angle. So, meron tayong dalawang remote interior angles, yung angle C at angle A. Okay, so meaning, angle ABD is greater than angle ACB. Na kung saan sa ACB, ang vertex niya is C. Or, angle ABD is greater than angle C. A, B, na kung saan ang vertex naman ito is yung angle A. Okay, next is the inequalities in two triangles. We have the hinge theorem or SAS inequalities theorem. If two sides of one triangle are congruent to the two sides of another triangle, but the included angle of the first triangle is greater than the included angle of the second, then 
the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second. Last is the converse of hinge theorem or SSS inequality theorem na kung saan kapag sinabing SSS, ito yung side, side, side. Okay, if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, but the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle of the first is larger than the included angle of the second. So let us now have the examples. Fill in the blanks with the correct relation symbol. We have the greater than and less than to show the relationship between segments in the corresponding figures. Okay, so we have the given triangle SON na kung saan ang sukat ng segment SN or side SN is 45, side SO or segment SO is 25, and segment ON is 56. So, in triangle SON, segment SO is what of segment SN? Is it greater than or less than? So, balikan natin yung ating given figure. SO has the measure of 25. And SN has the measure of 45. Therefore, segment SO is less than segment SN. Next is segment SO and ON. So, ang sukat ng SO is 25 at ang ON naman is 56. Therefore, that is less than. Next, segment SN and SO. So, SN is 45 and SO is 25. Therefore, segment SN is greater than segment SO. And the last, segment ON and segment SN. So, ang sukat ng ON is 56 at ang sukat naman ng SN is 45. So, therefore, segment ON is greater than segment SN. Another example, we have the given triangle DBM na kung saan ang sukat ng angle D is 55 degrees. Angle B is 75 degrees and angle M is 50 degrees. So, in triangle DB, uh, DBM, measure of angle D is what of measure of angle B? Is it greater than or, or less than? So, balikan natin yung sukat ng D is 55 and that, ang sukat naman ng B is 75. So, kung ang B ay 55 at ang B ay 75, therefore, the measure of angle D is less than the measure of angle B. Next, measure of angle D and measure of angle M. D is 55, M is 50, so that is greater than. Next, measure of angle B and measure of angle M. So since mas malaki ang 75 sa 50, therefore that is greater than. And last, measure of angle B is 50, uh, 75 and the measure of angle D is 55, so that will become greater than. So, let's have another example. Complete the table below. So, we have the given um, column for the figure, exterior angle, remote interior angle, and remote exterior angle. So, for example, we have the given triangle or figure, which is the triangle ABC. At naglagay tayo ng extension line or segment at nilagyan natin ito ng pangalan as D. Okay, so we have the given exterior angle which is angle B, C, D. Na kung saan yung C, iyon yung exterior angle or angle na nasa labas ng ating figure. And then the remote interior angle is yung angle na nasa loob which is katapat ng exterior angle and that is the angle A. And then kapag naman sinabing remote exterior angle, Iyon yung angle na malapit sa exterior angle. So, that is the angle B. Another figure, we have the triangle FEG at may extension segment at pinangalanan natin ng K. Therefore, the exterior angle is angle EGK. And then, ang katapat ng exterior angle na to is F. So, therefore, iyon yung remote interior angle natin. At ang remote exterior angle naman ay angle na katabi ng exterior angle natin. So that is angle E. Another figure, triangle IOM. 
may extension line or segment at pinangalanan as J. So, ang ating exterior angle is angle OIJ at yung ating remote interior angle o angle na katapat ng ating exterior angle is yung angle M at ang remote exterior angle naman or angle na katabi or malapit sa exterior angle natin is yung angle O. Last figure, we have the triangle Q or U. At nag-extend tayo ng line at nilagyan natin ng S. So, ang ating exterior angle is angle QRS. Ang ating remote interior angle o angle na katapat ng exterior angle na ito is yung ating angle U. At ang remote exterior angle naman or angle na malapit or katabi ng angle or exterior angle natin is yung angle Q. Another example, use the exterior angle inequality theorem to find the measure of each angle below. So, we have the given triangle R, A, E, at nag-extend tayo ng segment at pinangalan na natin ito as side or segment A, D. Okay, so let us find the measure of angle R, A, E or measure ng angle A. So, meron tayong sukat ng angle E which is 118 degrees at ang angle R naman is 35 degrees. So, for us to find the measure of angle A, ang total po ng degrees or ng angles ng isang triangle is 180 degrees. So, therefore, we will use this given equation, angle E plus angle R plus angle A is equal to 180 degrees. And then, we will just substitute the given um, values or measures ng dalawang angles. So, angle E has the measure of 118 degrees. Angle R has the measure of 35 degrees and then since ang hinahanap natin is measure ng angle A or measure ng angle RAE, meaning isusulat muna natin yung symbol ng angle A equals to 180 degrees. Okay, so let us now add 118 degrees plus 35 degrees is 153 degrees plus angle A is equal to 180 degrees. So para makuha natin yung measure ng angle A, Ita-transpose natin ang positive 153 degrees doon sa katabi niya or sa katulad niya na number. So, kung dito ay positive ang 153 degrees, kapag tinranspose natin ito, ang positive ay magiging negative since lumiban na siya ng kabilang side ng equal sign. So, this will become angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. So, ima minus lang yung 180 at 153. Therefore, the measure of angle A is 27 degrees. So, the measure of angle RAE is 27 degrees. So, lagyan na natin dito ng 27 degrees. So, kompleto na yung measure ng tatlong angles natin or tatlong interior angles. Hanapin naman natin ang measure ng angle RAD or measure ng ating exterior angle. So, kung ito ay 27 at kailangan nating hanapin ang sukat ng angle na nasa labas, so kung mapapansin nyo, nag-form sila ng straight line. Meaning, ang sukat nila dapat ay may total na 180 degrees. Dahil, ang straight line ay may total measure of 180. So, ang gagawin lang natin, is to subtract 180 degrees and 27 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle RAD is equal to 153 degrees. Another example, we have the given triangle MAH and we have the extended segment, which is the segment AT. So, first is to measure or find the measure of angle MHA MHA or measure ng angle H. So again, meron tayong triangle figure. Ibig sabihin, ang total ng kanilang interior angles is 180 degrees. So we have the given formula angle M plus angle A plus angle H is equal to 180 degrees. And then ang angle M natin ay may given measure na 51 degrees. Ang angle A ay may 83 degrees. And we have to find the measure of angle H. Okay, so again, i-add lang natin yung 51 at 83, therefore that will become 134 degrees plus angle H is equal to 180 degrees. 
And then combine like terms, pagsasamahin natin yung dalawang constants or dalawang numbers. So we have to transpose positive 134 to the right side of the equation. So this will become angle H is equal to 180 degrees minus 134 degrees. So minus lang natin yung dalawang numbers. So ang sukat ng angle H is 46 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle MHA is 46 degrees. So, ilagay na natin dito ang 46. Okay, so next is to find the measure of angle HAT. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung HAT at itong A na ito is nag-form ulit ng straight line. So, meaning, ang total ng measure nito, nitong exterior angle at itong interior angle na ito ay may total na 180 degrees. So, minus lang natin ang 180 degrees so 83 degrees, therefore the measure of angle HAT o ang sukat ng ating exterior angle is 97 degrees. So let us now summarize what we have learned about this lesson. So we talked about the theorems on triangle inequalities. First are the inequalities in one variable. We have the theorems, triangle inequality theorem 1 or SS2AA. Triangle Inequality Theorem 2 or AA to SS. Triangle Inequality Theorem 3 or S sub 1 plus S sub 2 is greater than S sub 3. And Exterior Angle Inequality Theorem. And next is the inequality in two triangles. We have the Hinge Theorem or SAS or Side Angle Side Inequalities Theorem. And the Converse of Hinge Theorem or SSS or Side 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 Inequality Theorem. Sana ay nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyong lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!